hello lovely people welcome back to my channel we're a few weeks away from 2024 and i am in deep need of a reset so i'm kicking off my reset with a little mental physical and digital declutter of course the new year isn't the only time we can go about resetting and realigning we can call in new year energy at any point in the year but there's something about turning a new leaf in january that makes us excited so join me in a 2024 reset regimen that employs three methods to reset recenter and realign for the new year. This reset is inspired by Jules Acri here on YouTube. She is amazing. She does more kind of theme challenges at the end of each year and has lots of cool resources. So please check her out. I wanted to be intentional about creating a reset specific to my needs. I'm currently in a journey of transition, discovering purpose, passion, and mission. So I thought I would document my reset for 2024 as well. If this is your first time here. My name is Amira. And on this channel, we talk about mindful productivity, wellness, and small actionable steps we can take to create more balance and find meaning on our current journeys. Before we get started, I just wanted to share that this is the first of three methods of our Mindful Methods 2024 reset regimen where we'll walk through a very detailed reset for 2024. So with these methods, we'll go through first a mental, digital, and physical declutter. We'll then do our vision board planning and then we'll do our goal setting for 2024. I'll go ahead and link the playlist for all of these videos in the description. You can also see the description to get access to the Mindful Methods Notion Hub. So I do have a decluttering template for you all that goes through our mental declutter, our digital declutter, and our physical declutter. So you can feel free to pause the video, download it below and follow along with your template. So I actually just got home from teaching early morning classes. So before we begin, I'm going to make a little snack and some matcha and we'll get started. So now that I've eaten, it's time to get started. Okay, so first things first, as part of our declutter here, we're gonna go through our mental declutter first. So I'm basically gonna figure out what's kind of taking up most of my mental real estate, basically jotting down and brain dumping all of my to-dos, all the little tasks that I've put off, mostly just going through and making appointments, scheduling, and any of those little peripheral tasks that are kind of taking up the most mental real estate. So I'm actually gonna go through this exact same template that you all have down below. We're in the first method, right? So we're gonna be doing our declutter and direct method opening this up so schedule an eye appointment every year I get my eyes tested um, by the ophthalmologist because the medication that I take I think I also have a blood work appointment to schedule but that's kind of easy that's online so I'll go ahead and schedule that I also know that I have to look into some liability insurance or a teaching business kind of figure out how the tax works for the city that I live in So I think I'll focus on these four tasks for today. Kind of just knock those out or kind of start the process. Some of them like liability insurance and tax stuff. That's kind of like a longer process. I'm gonna go ahead and drag these from my brain dump checklist into my to-do list and then kind of continue the process from there. I actually haven't been to the eye doctor in literally over a year. So I forgot the name of my ophthalmologist. So now I'm going through my text messages and my emails to see if I can figure it out. Found it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so now I just completed kind of taking care of those little to-dos. I made my blood work appointment. Don't even know why I put that off because it literally took me five minutes. So this is your sign to do those little tasks. And now we're moving on to our digital declutter. On our Notion template here, we have just a little checklist that we can go through, you know. It's basically the same thing as my mid-year reset, but we're doing it at the end of the year because over the months, those things tend to pile up. I have the suggestions listed in the template here. You can also go through and add your own. We're at Inbox Zero. Um, I highly recommend Spark and learning hotkeys. It's so easy to do. I literally just and here we are like within two minutes literally at inbox zero so very happy about that um next i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the phone and my ipad one second okay i actually don't think there's anything i need to delete maybe the sephora app because i can literally go on sephora on my computer Okay, so pretty much done with that. I'm gonna get into the last part of our declutter here, which is prepping your physical. So in our template, we can go through each area of our home. I just finished inputting kind of the problem areas, the pain points, things that I've noticed. For some areas, I'm just gonna kind of do a general tidy. Other areas, there are specific things that I wanna kind of tackle in that space. Um, and then when I am done here, like say for example, general tidy in the living room, I can click on it. I've added my action items here the things that I kind of want to get done I can go through and kind of click off whenever I've completed it and then you'll kind of see that here show up let's get started So this is my first time trying this product. I had to get the starter kit, right? So it comes with one concentrate. It's about a quarter of the way done from filling up all three of these bottles. Um, so the one that required the most concentrate was the bathroom. So this one, it says for toilet, tile, grout, shower. Um, Fragrance-free, non-GMO, non-toxic, obviously. Basically, you fill the bottles up with water first to the water line and then you add the concentrate to the soap line and then the instructions say to top it off with a little bit of water. So I have all three of my bottles filled. I'm gonna start with my car. So we'll just do a little bit of sprucing up and then we'll come back in and we'll tackle each of the spaces that I laid out with my declutter template. So let's get started with that.
variety lovely people so I feel so much lighter now and like I can function a little bit more and that my spaces are a little bit less cluttered I hope this gives you a little bit of inspo to get up and kind of declutter your spaces do what feels good maybe choosing certain spaces to focus on like one at a time throughout this week throughout the next couple of weeks before the new year starts again you can also grab my free resources including my decluttering template that I just used down below in the description it'll give you access to the mindful methods 2024 reset regimen notion hub that's a long ass name wishing you the happiest of new years and i can't wait to be learning and growing along with you all in 2024 thanks so much for watching and stay mindful bye